Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I'm very excited today because today it's going to be an experiment. Are you ready? It's going to be the Easy Bot. If you don't remember this guy, I'll save you or shoot you guys a link at the end of this video on the Easy Bot and how to make it. And today's experiment is basically which robot drives the straightest, a Spike Prime Bot or the Easy Bot? Hmm, it's going to be one of those things where we're going to have to find out. In fact, if you want to, before you watch the video, throw down a comment on which one do you think will drive the straightest. But if you want to find everything out, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So again, guys, the easy bot. I left the uh, video link at the in the description, and I also will leave it at the end of this video if you want to see on how to build this guy. And then the Spike Prime bot, man, I made this guy as simple as I could. I mean, we're talking bargain basement. Um, the least amount of pieces possible. I uh, put this color sensor on because I want to do a line following experiment later on. But this guy is the, the fastest Spike Prime bot I think I can make. And I want to now test it versus the Easy Bot and see which one drives the straightest. For those of you that might be wondering, I don't know if you're considering getting a Spike Prime bot for your first Lego League. Definitely don't take my word for it and buy it just because maybe this might drive straighter. This is just an experiment, but this is just Mr. Hino's experiment. I cannot guarantee official results. But let's go ahead and figure out how I'm going to figure out which one drives the straightest. Okay, guys, so here they are. The EV3 Easy Bot. And I don't even have a name for my Spike Prime Bot, but it's kind of cool how they look like they're... One of those heavyweight boxing titles where they're facing off against each other. So let's go ahead and figure out how I'm going to do this demonstration or experiment. Basically, what I have right here is a level that you would use to, um, you know, like hang a, a picture frame just to show you that something's level. So it basically shoots out a laser beam. Do you see I'm just turning it side to side here? So what I'm going to basically do is take each robot and line up the wheels. And I'm going to definitely have to, you know, see that it's level because, you know, just because it might seem straight here might not mean it's perfectly level. And then I'm going to have it just go forward at the same rate of speed. And basically after it goes, you know, down the table, I just want to see, I'll measure how far off of this line did the wheel go? And so I will measure for both of them. And, you know, I know some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. You know, how do you know your table's perfectly flat? Um, there is a level on here, but it, it doesn't matter if, you know, the table's perfectly flat because I'm going to put both robots in the same spot. So if it's not flat, then it should, you know, the, the results should show for both. So we're going to let the easy bot go first. What I'm basically going to do is run these guys 10 times. I'll write down, you know, the measurements on how far it was for each one and then show you guys the results when I'm done. So let's go ahead and go to it. Okay, looks like we're all set. So how do I know that it's level? I'm going to look to see that the glow from the laser is even on both sides of the tire. I'm going to have this thing go 1200 degrees, which should get me to the end of the table. And I'm basically going to just measure how far off the line did this wheel go. And then I will tabulate the scores, EV3 versus Spike Prime. So once the Easy Bot is done, I'll swap it out for the Spike Prime Bot. And then I will give you the results. So it'll look something like this. Let me go ahead and show you. Oops, don't want to. Okay, so here we go. Okay. 
Okay, so what I'll basically do is just measure how far off. Now, if you remember, this wheel started on this line. So I'll basically just measure how far did this wheel move from the original laser point. All right, everybody, it's the spike primes turn right now. You can see how the wheel was getting the same amount of reflection from the laser. So let's do the same thing that we did with the easy bot with this robot. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I did with the EV3 is basically measure how far off the wheel went from that original laser point. And no, I'm not going to have you sit through all 10 of these trials. I'll just show you at the end what the results were. Okay guys, so here you go. Here are the results of 10 trial runs with the EasyBot and the Spike Prime Bot. So I'm gonna just go down. If you guys wanna add this up, you can. Check that out, man. That was the, the Spike Prime where it was right on the line. Not to say the EV3 didn't do good. Look at these 1 16ths. That was awesome. I do not know what happened to the EV3 at the end here. Look at that. One and three-fourths, one and three-fourths. Okay, so here is the grand total. When you added up all the distances off of the laser line, and if you, I'm not here to sell you guys a spike prime, but anytime I, I did switch on the table, I would do the line here, I did the line here. Anytime I switched, I did put the spike prime on the same exact line that I did the easy bot. So there definitely wasn't any um, biased. I really didn't care which one won. Um, I'll be honest with you. If I were to do this again, I might switch it out for the ball bearing. In fact, if I redo this experiment, I'll let you guys know what happens with the ball bearing. But the ball bearing might have to, um, what I did do is anytime I did the EV3 bot, I had to make sure I kept this straight. Because if it was like this and it started off, it would automatically make it go offline. So the nice thing about the Spike Prime bot is it did have that ball bearing there. 
So this would not have affected it because I did I did straighten out this before I pressed the start button. But you know, that could be, you know, the X factor there is putting a ball bearing instead of this. So there is the results, guys. The EV3 or the Easy Bot was 7.25 inches off that laser line. The Spike Prime Bot 3.3125 inches off that line. So again, I had no you know, hand in which one won here. I try to make it as perfectly even as I can. And you know, you guys can take the results from whatever you want. I'm not here to sell you a Spike Prime kit. I'm just here to show you the results of the Easy Bot versus the Spike Prime Bot. Okay, guys, so there you have it. In the battle of the Spike Prime Bot versus the Easy or EV3 Bot here, the Spike Prime one came out ahead as far as accuracy of the motors. So again, you guys can take it for what it's worth. I'm not here trying to here to sell you anything. I'm just here to, it was definitely just an experiment. In fact, I was, you know, if I could, I would have rooted for the EV3 because, you know, we spend more time with the EV3, but Spike Prime, hmm. Okay guys, so there you go. There is the answer to that experiment. So take it for what it's worth. Okay guys. I will see you in the next video. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out and we got this. We got this. We've got this. We got this. We got this, guys. He's out. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.